page 206, uh, lesson 29 in our reader's notebook. We're talking more about pronouns and ownership. Um, again, we're looking at words that uh, tell us uh, who shows that someone ha uh, owns something or has something. So they want us to underline the possessive pronoun and then circle the noun that shows what is owned. So in this particular case, we are looking at possessive pronouns that fall at the end of a sentence. So number one, the pennies are mine. Who do the pennies belong to? They belong to me, so they are mine. So you need to underline mine and circle the noun that shows what is owned. So what, what is owned in this sentence? What belongs to me? Pennies. So you are going to circle pennies and underline mine. Number two, the dimes are hers. Who do the dimes belong to? They belong to her, so we are going to underline her, and dimes are what is owned, so we are going to circle dimes. Number three, the quarters are his. Underline his, circle quarters. Number four, the nickels are yours. If you said underline yours and circle nickels, you are correct. Number five, the money is mine. If you said underline mine and circle money, again, you are correct. Uh, number six through 10, I bet you guys can do these all by yourself. If you get stuck, drop me a message or send me a text. You can pause here so you can finish the page. We are going to go to page 208. And again, we are looking at our words that have O-I and O-Y in them. Let's look at our word bank. We have joined, noise, voice, enjoyed, cowboy, and spoiled. You can hear the oi sound in all of those. So we're filling in our blanks here. Number one, the blank sat by the campfire. Well, who's going to sit by a campfire? We only have one person in this box right here. So if you said cowboy, you are correct. Please write cowboy in your sentence. Number two, he had a very nice blank for singing. Well, what do we sing with? We sing with our voices. So voice goes in our sentence number two. He had a very nice voice for singing. Number three. He blank singing to pass the time. Well, let's look at our words up here. What could we do in terms of how we, this is kind of a feeling thing. It's telling me how I feel when I sing to pass the time. But in this case, it is a verb still. So he enjoyed to enjoy something. That means that you like it. Okay. Uh, excuse me, singing is your verb, and what do you like to do with it? You like to enjoy it. So he enjoyed singing to pass the time. Number four, uh, let's see. Sometimes the cows blank in. Well, if you're out singing in the, um, out on the cowboy prairie, and you're sitting by a campfire, and you're herding cows, I guess the cows can join right in, can't they? Sometimes the cows joined in. Number five, they're mooing blanked his songs. Well, I don't know. I think cow mooing might be kind of fun, but I think here they're looking for spoiled. And number six, the lovely singing became frightful. Hmm. Well, if we have cows and cowboys singing together, I guess we could consider that noise. Okay, so you're supposed to go through and read these words and then write each one in the correct column below under the word that has the same vowel spelling. We're looking at same sounds. Our diphthong is oi, but we get it two different ways. We get it with oi as in point 
and we get it with OY as in toy. So go ahead and separate your words and write them on the correct lines. You can pause the video here. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, page 211. We're supposed to write the spelling word that means the same as the given word. So let's review our words. One, aim, two, snail, three, bay, four, braid, five, ray, six, always, seven, gain, eight, sly, nine, chain, ten, shy, eleven, bright, twelve, fright, thirteen, tray, fourteen, try. So number one, what does the same, what is the word that means get? Hmm, let's look through our list. Get, what might that mean? Get, we are looking for the word that means the same as the given word. So if I get something, let's think about this in terms of math. If I'm getting something, am I adding it or subtracting it? If I'm getting it, I'm adding it, right? I might be adding it to my collection but it's coming to me, so I'm adding it. Um, and another word for adding is gain, to gain something. Think about uh, weight. Some of us who've been sitting home for the last six weeks have either gained weight or maybe lost weight, but to gain means also to get something. So your number one, get, is the same as gain. Number two, forever. Forever and ever and ever. What does forever mean? Let's look through our list. Um, I see the word. I think it means always. What do you think? Number two, forever, always. Because that means it never ends, right? Number three, a scare. What would mean the same word as a scare? Mm, I'm looking at number 12. I think fright is our word. Number four, sneaky. If I'm being sneaky, this one might be tricky because you might not know this word. You might not have heard this before. It actually the same uh, has the same meaning as sly. When you're sly, just another word for sneaky. So number four, sneaky, is the same as number eight, sly. Number five, point. If I am pointing or I make a point, what is my word that I'm looking at? Point. I think it's actually number one. If you look and you see my point, my cursor on the computer is pointing to the word aim. Aim and point are the same thing. So number five is the same as number one, aim. And number six, shiny. Well, if something's shiny, it can also be bright. So number six is the same as number 11, bright. Now down here, you're going to put words in that finish off the group, okay? I'm not gonna do this whole section with you. I'll do number one, and then you can finish this by yourself. So, or excuse me, I guess it's number seven. So we have plate and platter. Okay, so what do you do on a plate? You put your food, that's where you eat, right? A platter, same thing, it's just a much larger plate, usually has a lot of food on it. So what else in our spelling list could we put food on to carry it or to serve it? Hmm, let's see. I'm not seeing anything up here. I think we have to go to our review words. I believe it's a tray. So for number seven, you're going to put number 13, tray. I will read through these words so you know what they are, but I want you to find the rest of the spelling words by yourself. And remember what's going to help you is cross out as you use the words. Number eight is slug and worm. Number nine, pigtail, ponytail. Number 10, quiet, timid. Number 11, beam, light. Number 12, attempt, effort. Number 13, rope, leash. And number 14, sea and harbor. These might be kind of tricky, so if you get stuck, let me know.